While we're still months away from the start of the NCAA basketball season, there's plenty to celebrate here at Marquette Country after a successful season and one of their own making it to the NBA. And a celebration, it's right here at Buzz's Texas Style Barbecue. Uh, DJO, so uh, everybody remembers the Sweet 16 game, hitting the shot. Kind of symbolizes the passing of the torch uh, from Jimmy onto you as a leader. How do you feel now as a leader of the team going into the season? Uh, I think my main objective is, you know, just, just to get the guys to follow me. Uh, I have to lead by example, and that's what I've been trying to do this summer, you know, uh, getting in the gym as many times as I can, uh, bringing guys with me. You know, a lot of guys, you know, have been in the gym working on their game individually, and I think that's going to help us become better as a whole. Now, um, last year, you guys were kind of uh, not really expected to do a lot. Last team from the Big East to punch your ticket. This year, a little different, though. A lot of teams, a lot of experts have you ranked higher, possible six seed. How do you feel about those expectations? I think, I, I say, I tell the guys every day, we, we went from being the hunters to the hunted. Uh, that's, it's two different ball games if, if they don't know. Uh, me coming from a team that has been the haunted, um, I'm trying to tell the young guys and all the guys who's coming here up next that it's a little different. It's a little different game. So uh, you got to prepare differently, uh, still play the same, still play hungry, still have the same mentality. But uh, you're going to get the team's best punch night in and night out. So you have to get forward, look forward to it. Thank you for talking to be here. God bless you. Thank you. Now, you were there in Deerfield, Illinois, at the Birdo Center with Jimmy. How did it feel to see him make the jump? You saw him, and you've always said you had a thing for JUCO players, to see him grow up and make that next level jump. Unbelievable. Uh, you know, I was hired on April the 8th, and uh, Jimmy Butler was the first player that I signed on April the 15th. I had not hired a coach. I had not hired anybody. Um, it was just me and Barb, our administrative assistant. And uh, so Jimmy's been a part of every practice, every game, every film session. Um, so he's already greatly missed, not because of who he was as a player, but because of who he was as a person. And uh, so to be able to uh, be there on Monday and, you know, it was kind of the crowning moment of his evolution as a player. And that's that was a unique deal. How did you feel on draft night when you heard Commissioner David Stern say that name? Yeah, it was great. They were all our kids were at my house and. Uh, it was almost deja vu because, you know, Lazar was the 30th pick. And uh, we were – the angst in the room was continuing to build. You know, uh, he had worked out for 16 teams. And uh, I, I had great conversations with a lot of those teams at the end of the first round. I was – they were texting and calling during the draft. And so for Jimmy's name to be called when it was, I, I, that was, that was awesome. Now, um, for Jimmy Butler, what is your number one piece of advice for him now that he's going into the NBA, entering the professional world? What, what do you have for him? The number one thing I would say is for him to uh, make sure he always keep his head up, you know, no matter, no matter what um, is going to happen in the NBA. And there are things that is going to happen that he may not like. And he has to realize that uh, he has no control over that. And the only thing he can control is who he is, how hard he works, and how he conducts himself on a daily basis. All right, I'm here with the newest Chicago Bull, Jimmy Butler. Jimmy, congratulations. He's got his gear going. Um, your mother and Buzz were there with you on Monday as you were in the Birdo Center. How important has it been the people who have been there to support you, such as your coach, such as your mother? Uh, very important. They've always been there for me for day one. Through the ups and downs, I could always count on them to, to keep me going. You know, that they, they were the fuel to my fire for the most part. And no matter what, they're always going to be on my side. If I was in the NBA or if I was at McDonald's, they'd always be there for me. Now, obviously, you came out with your incredible uh, story uh, within the last couple of weeks and you've made it to the NBA, you've been, met the press in Chicago. How does it feel, has it, has it hit you making it to the NBA and how, how has it just been, has it been overwhelming for you? Definitely, I don't, I don't know when it'll settle in, but I know that I'm here, I wanna stay, so I gotta work. Uh, I'm glad for the support and stuff I have, man. I'm, I'm very blessed to tell you the truth and it's a dream. And if I wanna keep this dream going, I gotta do what I've always done to get me to this dream and that's to work. 
Great food and great people made for a great day here at Buzz's Texas Style Barbecue. And as the new school year comes closer, you can expect this team, come basketball season, to be ready to make another run in March. But for now, they'll enjoy the summer. Reporting from the Central Mall on the campus of Marquette University, Victor Jacobo, MUTV Sports.